Good afternoon, McBride students. Welcome back to the PE world here in McBride. We are back again, and we are up to another journey today, guys. I would never not take you on a journey, right? We've been doing it all year, and today I'm doing it in this super cool hat right here. And I can guarantee that all of you want this hat, because, I mean, who would not want this hat? This is a flowery, flamingo-y, wonderful hat, okay? And, uh, but we are uh, going to be semi-pro uh, disc golfers today, okay? Uh, have you heard of disc golf? Maybe you haven't, okay? Uh, also known as frisbee golf, okay? And what I have here are discs, okay? Um, I have not played in several years, okay? But I do still have the discs. Uh, the discs are also called frisbees, of course, okay? Um, and they're all supposed to do uh, different things, okay? And I got a little target set up down there, and uh, I'm gonna chuck all these. I haven't thrown one yet. It's been several years, and uh, I'm not sure how it's gonna go, okay? But uh, here they go, guys. Ready? go guys I let them all go and I hate to tell you this but I did not hit my target on a single throw but we're gonna improve in these upcoming clips all right guys see you later okay guys let's see if we can improve off that first performance because it was not up to uh, high quality disc golf standards you can see the target is right there my net apparatus okay little little hoop okay and uh, I've got all my discs, okay? Some of these are drivers, some of these are putters. Uh, if you're familiar with golf, you've heard of those, shot, uh, those clubs, okay? Well, in disc golf, they uh, make those clubs into discs, okay? But I'm not sure what they are, but I'm gonna go ahead and sling them down there and see if I can uh, make one through, okay? Here we go, you ready? Put one through. Oh, last one off the rim. Tell you what, I was terrible for most of them, but I got closely dialed in there at the end. All right. Okay, guys, I think it's time for some trick shots, okay? This one here, I call the blindfold reverse throw. Here we go. Ready? Hand up. Okay guys, another trick shot. This one I call the under the bridge. Here we go. Ho oh, ho, nailed it. Okay guys, my last sweet trick shot for today. This one I call the I can't see you. Okay, stand here, arms are out, and here we go. And that's how it's done, guys. Keep up the good work with Kids Heart Challenge, guys. If you have not started and you have not joined us yet, go ahead. There is still plenty of time. Uh, check out the links that I've sent you on Canvas, okay? And those can get you started. Uh, you got the month of February. You don't have to do it all in a few days, okay? You can slowly do it throughout the month of February. And uh, keep up the good work. We are off to a great start. Your joke of the day, guys. Why did the disc golfer wear two pairs of pants? Just in case he got a hole in one. <laughs> well, guys, the Super Bowl was on Sunday. Some of you know what that is. The big NFL football game, the championship. Okay, And uh, a lot of you probably watched it, which is awesome. Uh, sports trivia today. How many Super Bowls has Tom Brady played in in his career? The correct answer, 
I bet some of you got it. It is 10, guys. That is unheard of. It's unbelievable that he has been to that many Super Bowls. And uh, I guess we're recording this before, so we're not sure if he won this one or not. All right, guys, let's get warmed up again today. Here we go. Let's start with side-to-side uh, -side jumps. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. And let's go. One leg forward, one leg backward, and switch foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And let's go. Here we're going to go left and front, right and back. And then right in front, left and back, like so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Let's go arms forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. All right, let's go. Stretch forearms, left hand. Push on that hand, push on those fingers. Five, four, three, two, one. And right hand. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's roll out the wrists. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way, one, two. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right arm across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. Forward, backward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. All right. Good job, guys. All right, guys. We are back here for another day of jump rope. Again, we do our jump rope uh, along with our Kids Heart Challenge. We will do some more gymnastics uh, when we finish up a little more jump roping, okay? Uh, <clears throat> first thing we're going to do today um, we are going to get on to just some uh, forward jumping, okay, right out of the gate. Uh, last time we did kind of the baby steps of learning to jump rope. So if you need to refer back to the last video to uh, uh, remember exactly the steps, okay, you can watch that one again, okay. Uh, but today let's get started with uh, just standard forward jumping, okay. Remember you got your rope. Again, if you don't have your rope, you are imaginary jumping, which is just fine, okay. Um, and you're going to put that rope behind you, and here we go. We are going to uh, take off with our forward jumps as kind of our, uh, our uh, little warm-up for our actual activity today. Here we go. Do it with me. You're making errors. You just restart. Be light on your feet. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job. Okay, take a quick rest. Jump roping is an unbelievable exercise, guys. It will get you tired so fast, okay? After about a minute of jumping, okay, things are already going, okay? You're breathing hard. Your heart's beating faster, okay? Not too long after that, you'd be sweating. And here we go, we're doing it again. Join me. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Catch your breath. You guys are doing great. This is all a great exercise. Even if you aren't enjoying yourself with the jump roping, okay, 
Or if you don't have a jump rope, you just have to think of it as you are benefiting your body right now by getting this exercise, okay? And let's do some backward jumps, okay? Again, I'm not as good at, at these, they're more difficult for me, so that rope's out in front, okay? And we are sending it backwards, like so. Here we go. Yee! Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo. <clears throat> Backwards wears me out more too, because I gotta be, if it's not as comfortable, it makes it harder for me. Hey, if you're doing this with me, you are breathing hard, which is great. Don't stop because that's happening. That is good. That is what we want. Hey, here we go. We're going to do another backwards. And go. Great guys, I'm starting to get tired and so I was making more airs. Backwards are already a little bit harder for me so um, we're gonna go ahead, take a quick water break and we'll meet you right back here. A little more creative jumping here. Okay, let's start with one foot, whichever foot you want. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Don't go quite as long on the single foot. A little more tiring on the on that one leg. Let's do that rocker jump, okay? So, your feet are a rocking chair. It's going under your front foot, and then it's going under your back foot. Here we go. Ready. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nicely done. Very good. All right, this one, guys, let's try to do the runner. Okay. You are just getting your knees going, and that rope is going under each foot as each foot's going down. Keep going. Ah. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! That one, guys, you're, a lot of, a lot of young, young folks picked that one up real quick, okay, that, uh, that runner one, okay, and some people like to do it when they're actually moving as well, okay, okay, uh, one more water break, meet back here, I'm going to show you some uh, more difficult jumps before we finish.
Okay, crisscross, okay? Some of you know how to do this. It is a more difficult jump, okay? Uh, but what you're gonna do, the best way I can describe it is you're gonna bring that rope over, you're gonna cross your arms, you're gonna create this little window. You're gonna jump through this window, okay? As it comes here, okay, you bring it back around. Again, practice this, here we go. Cross, step through, good. And cross, step through, all right? So this one, uh, you just kind of have to eventually just dive in and go for it, okay? So if I was gonna go here, I could just do one and make it through, okay? And one and make it through. Now I'm gonna try to do it over and over, okay? This part will take some practice. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I made an error, but I got there, okay? Um, got to work on that one, guys. Takes some, some good practice to figure that one out. Whoo, catching my breath. You're probably doing the same. Stay with me, we are getting close to the end. <clears throat> and here we go, backwards crisscross. I haven't practiced these, so we'll see if I remember, okay? Same thing though, you're in the front, you're creating that window, and you're jumping, you're not really jumping through the window, you're pulling that window over the top of your head, see that? So go ahead and do that a few times. Just like so. And try to jump it. Good. And jump it. Good. And jump it. Good. Okay. We'll see if we can do continuous. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! All right. That was a great job, guys. We're going to do the final jump rope that I'm going to show you today. Okay? This one is very difficult. It's all about rope speed. Rope speed is the most important part. Jumping a little bit higher is important, okay? But mostly it is rope speed, okay? So we are going to try to do doubles, guys. The rope goes around twice on one jump, okay? You'll probably, even on the camera, be able to hear the difference of speed in the rope, okay? So this is just normal forward jump roping, guys. Normal forwards. But that rope's gonna get around twice on one jump, okay? So this, if you can't do it, don't be discouraged. It takes lots and lots of practice. Very hard when we're a lot younger, okay? Getting a bigger body, bigger body, stronger body, uh, makes it much more possible, okay? So I usually start with some regular jumps. Then when I feel ready, I go for it, okay? Here we go. Did you hear that? I just did one. The rope ran around, ran, went around twice. Did it again. Okay. Okay. So you could hear that, I'm sure. The difference of speed. So I did one, did some regular, did one, did some regular. That's part Okay, guys, for some reason my video cut out. Uh, so I'm not sure what happened. But for fun here, I'm going to try to do multiple doubles in a row. Okay, so we'll see how I do. Here we go.
Start with a few regulars. Woo! My goodness, guys. That is a workout. You can see how high speed that is, guys. That is mega high speeds. You notice I had to pull my legs up to help give time for that rope to get around twice. All right, guys, great work today. Thank you for being here, and we will see you all soon. You certainly don't have to, but if you want to keep working that jump rope for five more minutes, I will put up the five minute timer and you guys can have at it. Okay guys, keep working on those difficult ones. Keep working on that regular jumping if you are still uh, needing to get that figured out. Okay, jump roping is difficult, takes a long time to figure out.
Thank you for being here, guys. I am winded. I'm tired. I hope you are too. Go grab yourself a drink and have a wonderful rest of the day.